Greetings all, Catherine here from Silver Spiral Tarot, and uh, I have got an unboxing to do, and a semi-unboxing. So, I have a little white box here, and a little white box here. So this is partly a VR to Tracy2, Miss Tracy2, and a hashtag to Simon Made Me Do It. So after I've seen so many of Simon's videos and I've been watching him, uh, I found him pretty much after he came, uh, got into YouTube. And uh, I, um, he showed the Deviant Moon. He loves the Deviant Moon. Well, when I saw the Deviant Moon on one of his many shows, I thought, well, I don't have to worry about spending my money on that. And I will watch, and I'm like, I just don't get it. And then, just recently, earlier in the month, uh, Simon was talking about the Deviant Moon. I think it was on his Decks for the Decades hashtag. And uh, this time, something grabbed me. He also said that the new Borderless Edition um, was on sale. And I said, well, I'll see. So I went and I looked at the Borderless Edition. And sure enough, it was on sale. It was a great price. And I said, you know, I really cannot lose with this. So I ordered it. It came in the mail. I opened it. And my world changed. It was it is such a unique deck. The artwork on it is gorgeous. I love it. And, um, you know, I just don't have um, the words that I really want to use to describe this deck. But holding it, playing with it, do you know I have not even shuffled this deck because I have been spending time just going through the cards over and over again. And so... This is the edition I got right here. And I, I promise you, I just absolutely adore it. So, and then I got sick this month, and I've been sick all month, and I have some nerve damage from it in my face. And um, I couldn't get back into anything. I was so sick that I did not even show my daughter my dude deck. And I was speaking to her later in the month, and I said, you know, I got this deck in the mail, Morgan. You need to look it up. And she looked it up, and instantly, bammo, she loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I had written Simon, and I said, you know, it took me a long time. And he said, sometimes it does take people a long time, and other times people get it right away. She got it right away. It took me a while. But as I was thumbing through it, and I'm not going to do a walkthrough of that deck because there are so many and Simon does an excellent job. But as my daughter and I were looking through it, one of the things my daughter, I mean, she just loves it. She picked up on the lover's card and she looked at the lover's card and said, look, I love how they are the same person. And I said, what? She said, they're the same person. So I realized that we have the full face here and then the moon face, the half moon here. And they're two separate people. Whereas here in the high priestess, you can see the half moon and then the full moon behind it. And I thought, and she just went through it like crazy. One of the things that I love about the deck is that I love the little bit of steampunk that's in it. I really enjoy that. And the artwork is, is wonderful. I, I just am fascinated by the way Patrick put these people together. And um, look at this card. This is the world. It's beautiful. 
And as I was going through, I picked up on the aces. I'm going to tell you, this ace of wands, when I picked it up, I said, that's Gaia. That's all there is to it. Why is Gaia here on the ace of wands instead of over here? Oh, I didn't pull her out. Um, on the high priestess. Not the high priestess, the empress. Um, but I get it. I understand it. But the crown up here and the baby and and all of that just it just said, you know, very close to the to the Empress. Now, I said Simon made me do it. But Patrick oh well let me show you these other aces. The Ace of Swords. Look at this. Gorgeous. The Ace of Cups. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And a dragon for the Ace of Pentacles. So I said, Simon made me do that. But you know that Patrick adds things to his decks adds little advertising bits. So of course he's advertised his book, which is gorgeous, I'm sure. We'll see. And he put in here a piece from the Mildred Payne. I've got the little flower here. And then he put these two cards in here. This is the Knight of Cups. This is from one of his Marseille decks. And I was like, oh my goodness. Look at that. I, I was just, yeah. But then I looked at this Justice card. And I said, oh wow. I love the darkness back here. So you can see the other cards tend to have a lighter background. And these are dark. These are almost a negative. Well, I was in some kind of delirium or something. And look what came in the mail today. Ooh. So I've I've opened the tape around the box, but now we're going to unbox it. Here's a little note. Thank you, Catherine. So let's see what he put in here. Oh my. Okay. I have the devil card from the Mildred Payne. I am not sure about, oh, this is Professor Skellet inspires his class with another useful lesson. This is the back of the card. You see things like this, probably not with the, um, uh, the cap, the mortarboard, but, um, on the tombstones in Charleston, South Carolina. This is so prevalent. And I know that um, Patrick likes to wander around graveyards. I don't know if he's ever been to Charleston. But Professor Von Skellet. Another card. From, this is his English version of um, of his Marseille deck. We 
at the Three of Hearts from the Deviant Moon. And now, now we have to open this. Let's slide down. Oh, he signed the back of he signed the back of this one. This is the Trifoni della Luna. Let's see if I can open one end of this. Simon, I want to be so careful with this paper. I've got three cards here. paper that he does. And this is, um, as I said, the Triomphi della Luna, the paradoxical tarot. Here's the back. It's a beautiful moon card on the back, absolutely. I love this moon card. And shrink wrap stuff is so much fun to get into. Nice tuck box. Nice box. Because it folds back. It folds back like this. shrink wrap. Oh, I'm so excited. So it has a blue back. It might look purple here, but it's blue. color is coming out nicely. Okay, this, um, it says, the Triomphi della Luna evolved from a series of spontaneous ink drawings created on the wrappers of signed Deviant Moon tarot decks. Originally released as a majors only collection, we here at the Asylum now proudly present this fully completed tarot for your approval. And then I have to download the um, little white book. It's fine. Oh. Oh, yeah. So we'll see what these three cards are because, oh, it's got three extra cards. the fool. I just love it. I love this black background and it's it's almost like a negative. The magician. Okay. 
of the High Priestess. It's interesting, the fire in the background. I don't expect fire with the High Priestess, but this is the paradoxical tarot. The Empress, their peacock, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the lovers, the chariot, look at that star up there, that star up there, comet, I mean, this is the justice card that I fell in love with, absolutely. Hermit. is like a little flame from his fingers. Wow. It's the Wheel of Fortune. See how the crescent moon is dark up here. Oh, here's a strength card. It's like she is the lion and the person, and she's carrying that pillar. The strength cards in his decks are 11. Now, I have a thing about snakes. I really don't care for them at all. So... Here's a change of perspective for you from the hanged man. Thirteen. Hey, sweetie. Interruption by the cat. This is sassy. Come on down, sweetie. Sassafras. Temperance. She's pretty. The devil. Oh, excuse me. Come on, sweetie. Get down. I'll play with you in a minute, okay? The tower. Oh, yes. The star. And the moon. She is being sassy, isn't she? The sun. And the judgment card. And here's the world. the King of Swords. They really do have nice, nice color. This queen looks like she's been in a battle. The Knight. Enough. The Page. 
And then now we have the um, the Marseille style for the rest of the swords. So, um, and those all have blood. This has bat's wings or angel wings, I don't know, devil wings. Um, so really nice. Uh, And then there's the Ace of Swords. It's got blood on one side and none on the other. And then the Wands, King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. I'm quite liking this deck. The Knight. page here's a 10 colors in this are just beautiful with the green and the blue absolutely gorgeous so again I'm going to skip through these see there's a 2 and again I wonder why they hold their little finger out? So the page of the King of Cups, the Queen. She's got a big cup. She's carrying and here is the Knight. So here's the knight, and here is the one from the Italian deck. So you can see how they're almost um, a negative. This is a negative of this one. Just as beautiful. Absolutely. I am thrilled. a lusty page for you. Hmm. Getting all that emotion. So there's the two cups and look at that. Ace of Cups. The King of Coins looks happy. Full round face. The Queen. <laughs> the Knight of Coins. It looks like he's just waking up. Look at him sitting on that dragon. The dragon was the ace in um, in the Deviant Moon Tarot. Again, the colors are really beautiful. And here's his two, a traditional two, and the ace. And then we have um, some extra cards. So I will have to download the little white book for these. One, the mermaid, hmm, is this a hippogriff of sorts with a cup? This 
somebody playing a siren song. They look like they're praying. A jester, perhaps? Here's another strength card. Well, it it is and it isn't. It is a strength card. It's although it's an eight, but definitely the lion here's a luminescent. Luminescent Scott. Okay, then these other cards, I actually have four of them. Okay, so um, put them in order. Here's another devil card, different from the one in the deck. This, instead of the tower, we have the lightning. Certainly the same effect. This is the star. And uh, this is a different judgment card. If you choose not to have the angel of judgment. So, I am absolutely thrilled with this deck of cards. Absolutely. <laughs> and I never expected it. I did not. So, Simon is a consummate, um, I hate to call him an enabler, but he encourages people. Um, and, uh, and Patrick, please. Such a salesman. See, now that this card has the neatest, this is the neatest card stock on this one. They all have a great card stock, absolutely. So I can't wait to dig into these some more, making sure I showed everything. So I know um, Simon is. Uh, Simon of Hermit's Cave is very excited about the Oracle that's coming out. I don't know what that's about yet. Um, I mean, but I have two new decks here to play with. So I will be using this one, this Trifoni della Luna, paradoxical, to um, get back into ben, uh, Tom Benjamin's book, um, Tarot on Earth. I was using the um, Cat Marseille, I mean the Marseille Cat Tarot with that one, but you know the, and I've done a, a video on it, and it did get um, the little images that I have on there that I talked about do kind of get in the way because they are Rider Waite Smith, just little vignettes kind of things on them. Um, so uh, I thought, well, what what Marseille do I want? And uh, although this isn't the um, major arcana, isn't specifically, and the court cards aren't specifically in the traditional style, um, certainly the pips are. And uh, that's what I was looking for, to get away from you know, relying on um, RWS. Although I like it a lot. But, so I'm thrilled with that. I'm absolutely thrilled. 
I love that moon card. I love this moon card. The moon card is my birth card. Um, I have to say, I would have liked uh, the hermit. Because mm. he's my life path card. But, you know, he it is a neat card in here. It is a neat card. So I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough with the uh, Triomphi della Luna paradoxical with the English text and um, you know if you haven't looked at these cards and you're like and they they're not for everybody I will be the first one to say that but after holding them in my hands and especially the um, the deviant moon tarot and uh, looking at just how Patrick put things together I mean, it really, it really is an exquisite, exquisite deck. So I'm thrilled. I'm very happy with both of them. So thank you for watching. I'd love to hear what you think. And um, you can do a hashtag, Simon made me do it. Um, or a hashtag, Patrick made me do it. With all of this. It's like, I do not need this other version, right? I have one. I don't need to. I'm good. Um, and uh, do look at...